for trouble-free operation and minimum downtime, it is important the operator of a generator system can quickly diagnose any issues that arise. The majority of operational issues are quickly resolved when the operator has a full understanding of how the various parts of a system relate to each other. This video covers the most frequently asked service questions regarding high power system sets and guides the viewer through several very useful troubleshooting scenarios. The first troubleshoot is when your high power system's generator is losing power. For units equipped with Deep Sea Electronics DSE702 and DSE3110 controllers, this frequently can be traced back to the overcurrent relay. The overcurrent relay will have to be reset to regain power output. To access the overcurrent relay, remove the panel directly below the control panel. To reset the button, you have to press the button in as shown. The relay can also trip when moving the voltage selector switch on a rental generator set. Replace the panel after resetting the relay. Power can also be unavailable because the safety breaker has been switched as indicated here in the red alarm light. Note the safety breaker for the panel covering the mechanical lugs. The most frequent explanation is incorrect fixing of the panel. Ensure the panel is correctly fitted. There are many reasons for a generator not pulling full load. Typical things to check are for fuel issues. First, check the water separator pre-filter examining through sight glass. Then, check the final filter and drain any water as indicated. The fuel lines should also be checked to verify they are not restricted or connected in the wrong way. Also check the auxiliary fuel lines and connections if fitted. Another reason for a generator not pulling full power is loose connections on the intercooler flange or clamps. Check the flange and clamps as indicated here, checking the intercooler hose and clamp. Also, check the clamp and hose into the turbocharger. Another reason for loss of power is blocked air filter elements. As indicated here, check the primary and secondary elements of the air cleaner. There are several reasons for a generator shutting down because of under voltage. First, check if the fuel filter is clogged, or the fuel supply lines and fuel supply are restricted. Check fuel as described previously for the generator not pulling full load. If your generator is equipped with a voltage selector switch, and the voltage has recently switched from 208 volts to 480 volts, Take the following actions. First, check if you can adjust the voltage with the potentiometer as indicated. If adjusting the potentiometer does not reset the voltage, the next action is to check the output voltage at the distribution panel using a suitable meter and taking the necessary precautions. This will verify the exact voltage. If the voltage is too low, the issue could be a faulty potentiometer or AVR. Next, proceed to check the AVR. The AVR is located on the alternator on the opposite side of the controller. Remove the AVR panel cover, and from the diagram on the back of the cover, find the corresponding adjuster on the AVR. Use the screwdriver provided to turn the dial up or down lightly. If you experience no voltage output from your generator, the first items to troubleshoot are the safety breaker on the mechanical lugs access as described previously, if the safety breaker is not the problem, then proceed to check the voltage fuses. Locate the fuse diagram in the owner's manual box. The diagram will show the voltage sequence of your unit and which fuses should be checked. To access the fuses, remove the panel front as indicated. Tip back the panel to locate the fuses. Remove and check the fuses and replace if necessary. Also, verify the fuse connection with a meter as shown. If your generator appears to be bogging down and is producing bluish to black exhaust smoke, this is probably due to the same conditions as Troubleshoot 2, when the set is not able to pull full load. Again, check for the following conditions. Air filter restriction, fuel supply restrictions, poor intercooler connections, or the unit has been running under light loads for extended periods and is manifesting a condition called wet stacking. If the generator is overheating, there are several troubleshooting issues that should be followed. Check if your air filter could be restricted. Examine the radiator to determine if it is excessively dirty and clogged, restricting airflow. Access the radiator by moving the panel on the enclosure as demonstrated. Overheating can also be caused by insufficient coolant which should be regularly checked. After troubleshooting all other issues for overheating, the operator should verify if the generator has been sized correctly for the load. One important factor to note is site ambient temperatures and altitude. One of the most common service calls is regarding the generator not starting. 
Most reasons for failure to start are the most simple and easiest to fix, such as low battery voltage. The battery should be checked, recharged, or replaced if found to be faulty. If the battery is okay, then check if the battery disconnect switch is in the proper position. Check the fuses after referring to the wiring diagram in the owner's manual box. Finally, if the unit will not start, check the fuel supply including tank level and fuel conditions. Generator units fitted with the CEM6 and CEM7 controllers will have to have the maintenance alarm reset. Power up the controller by turning on the power switch. To get to the password, hit the green button and the display will show the password. Using the plus and minus buttons and your left and right red and green buttons, enter the password that is 1911. Then hit the green button that takes you to the menu. Scroll down to the number 3 counters, then hit the green button. It will then display the counters and then scroll down to the maintenance one and again hit the green button to see a line flashing on the right hand side. Then change your arrows by using your plus and minus buttons until your next oil change. Then hit the green button twice and then hit the red button to get out and the controller will be reset. Finally, hit the purple reset button and it will clear your maintenance alarms. The troubleshooting points referenced in this video cover the majority of operator uses when operating a generator set. By using this video you have the opportunity to minimize any downtime and have trouble-free operation.